since my last video was about optimizing your mouse. I thought it was only right for me to make a video about optimizing keyboards for the lowest possible input delay, while also fixing any input discrepancies and other issues. In this video, we'll be using a bunch of different tweaks, some of them being pretty advanced, so there's a high chance you haven't even heard of them. But before we get into the video, I want to tell you guys about the EXM Premium Tweaking Utility, an all-in-one tool which will completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency. We have over 3,500 customer reviews, so make sure to check out EXMTweaks.com and use our Premium Tweaking Utility to unlock your full potential. Alright, so first of all, we're just going to be making sure that your keyboard is plugged into the correct USB port. So for that, you just have to press Windows and R and type in msinfo32. This will bring up uh, this little menu and in there, you just simply want to find your motherboard. So my motherboard is made by MSI and it's a Z790A. All you have to do is just search up uh, your motherboard manual by putting in uh, your motherboard name and the manual. And in your manual, simply find the page where your back panel connectors are shown. So you just want to plug your keyboard into a USB port, which is 3.0 and higher. If you have access to that, of course, if you don't have access to it, then it's not that big of a deal. It's good to have this sorted out. So the next step is going to be optimizing your keyboard software. I personally have a Wooten keyboard, so I'll be showcasing the settings there, but most softwares should have these options. If they don't, just skip them. So the first thing that I would recommend is making sure that your firmware is up to date. In Wooting specifically, it updates automatically when you turn on the software, but yeah. So after that, you want to set your pooling rate to the optimal option, which for most of you guys, it should be 1000. And if your keyboard allows higher values such as 2000 or even 4000 or 8000, then the highest I would go is 2000 as uh, those high refresh rates can cause strain on your CPU, which unless you have a really, really high-end PC, it's not worth the slight latency decrease. Generally, just sticking to 2000 or 1000 is ideal. So next up, there's things such as the actuation point. So for some of you guys, your keyboard may allow you to change your actuation point, which for me, it does. And for that, uh, you should change it to the lowest one possible. So then there's rapid trigger. I personally use 0.4 millimeters. Uh, that is that works the best for me. And yeah, my keyboard also has a, a thing which is called tachyon mode, and that just decreases my latency by turning off RGB and other useless features. So if you have a wooden keyboard, make sure to turn that on. Another small tip is turning off your RGB on your keyboard, which will also slightly decrease your latency. You can also set it to a stationary effect, which is also fine. But yeah, so for the next few steps, we're going to need to download certain resources and you will be able to find them in our Discord server, which is the second link in the description. So just join that and go into the free tweaks category and find the keyboard optimization guide. So in the Google Drive folder, all you have to do is just simply right click on EXM keyboard optimizations and press download. While it's downloading, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing free tweaks. All right, so once it's finished zipping, it will show up in the top right corner right here. So just press on it and simply extract it by pressing the extract button. And now it will open up and you can finally use the things in the folder. So the first thing that you want to do is create a restore point as that will allow you to revert all the changes done to your PC. So for that, you just open the EXM restore point menu and in there, just press one followed by enter and it will create a restore point. If you ever in the future want to use it, just press two. It will open up the restore point menu and from there you can use it. The second step is just going to be some general keyboard optimizations done in the registry. And here, all you have to do is just run this batch file. Make sure to run it as administrator. That's very important. And boom, it applied all of the tweaks almost instantly. So afterwards, we're going to be setting keyboard.iq size and just run this menu as administrator. And in here, we have three different options for three different types of CPUs. And the way you find out whichever option is the correct one is just by pressing T. And once you're in CPU, simply take this and comment it down below. I'll reply to your comment, tell you whichever one to use. Once you get the reply, just open the folder again and apply the tweak. But my CPU is a high-end one. So yeah, that's everything for keyboard and mouse.iq size. Afterwards, we have some USB optimizations, which uh, precisely is just disabling USB power savings. So run that as administrator. Boom. So afterwards, we're going to be setting the keyboard drivers, actually keyboard and mouse drivers to high priority and run it as administrator. Boom. In case you want to revert it, there's one right here. 
if you don't want to use a restore point. And a little warning before we do the power plan, I wouldn't recommend using it if your PC has overheating issues or anything of that kind, as it may decrease your performance. The main reason why we'll why we are applying a different power plan in a keyboard guide is because it disables certain USB power saving features, which the easiest way of disabling them is via changing the power plan. And yeah, it will also give you a little FPS boost. And if you're looking for some FPS boost guides, make sure to check out our other videos. Anyways, in here, uh, it should show up as EXM free plan V7. So just select that. And if you have any other duplicate or useless plans, which you don't want to use, just delete them as they may randomly switch over. But yeah, I'll still personally stick to using our premium power plan as it's slightly better than the free one. But yeah, so the last thing that we're going to be doing is heat BF, and that allows you to set proper pooling rates. And in here, it looks pretty complicated, but all you have to do at first is just run the batch file, which your keyboard hertz is at. So if you use 1000 hertz, then run as administrator. If you use 2000 to 4000 hertz, then run that file, so and so on. I personally use 1000 hertz on my keyboard, so I'm going to run that. And afterwards, you want to run setup.exe as admin. And in here, you all you have to do is just find your HID keyboard device. So the light speed receiver for me is my mouse, but this is my keyboard right here. And all you have to do is just set the rate to your refresh rate, which should be the one you selected so it could be either 1000 or whatever so on and then make sure to select filter on device and then press install service simple as that so yeah after that restart your pc and this and the other tweaks will apply but if there's some sort of error like your keyboard will suddenly stop working all you have to do is just unplug your keyboard from the usb port which it is in and then plug it into a different one and then plug it back to the original one it will reset the driver and in turn, it will revert this specific tweak and you will be able to use your keyboard again. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out exmtweaks.com if you want to completely optimize your PC. Sorry if my voice sounded kind of weird. I was pretty sick while recording the video, but you know, I had to get you guys right. Anyways, I'll see you later and have a great day.